This is Chris Pierce, and this is episode 19 of the Self-Maintenance of the Brain and Body podcast. Today, I'm going to talk about the effects of inflammatory foods on overall mental and physical wellness and longevity. First, what are inflammatory foods and inflammatory ingredients? These are almost all fast foods and fried foods, foods that contain sugars, vegetable and corn oils, trans fats, which is found in fried foods, baked goods, and shortening, and commercially prepared peanut butter, dairy products, which causes inflammation in about 60% of the world population. There's processed meats, such as bacon, sausage, hot dogs, and most lunch meats. Alcohol, refined grains, and artificial food additives, which are those ingredients that are hard to pronounce found on most foods. Additionally, any food allergies or sensitivities unique to each person can cause inflammation. To understand what is happening when we consume inflammatory food, I'll explain what causes this inflammation. So for example, when we consume a double cheeseburger with fries and a Coke, it's not the food itself causing the inflammation, it's the immune system's attack on the food. The immune system sees this food as a threat and releases gut antigens and begins to attack these foreign bodies. According to Dr. Howard Weiner of the Harvard Medical School, eating food is the biggest and most frequent occasion in which humans come into contact with foreign proteins creating inflammation. This inflammation impacts various domains of human performance, wellness, and longevity. A 2019 study published in the Journal of Nutrients found a decrease in sleep quality in those whose diet regularly consisted of inflammatory food. A 2020 news release from the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute found a significant risk of cardiovascular disease in those whose diet consisted of inflammatory food. Those who consume inflammatory food are 66% more likely to suffer from anxiety and depression, according to a 2022 study published in the Journal of Health, Population, and Nutrition. The National Center for Biotechnology Information explained in a 2021 study that the aging process is greatly accelerated when one's diet consists of inflammatory foods. So with this data, you can see why staying away from inflammatory food is crucial for happiness. Yes, it is true that you may feel happy while consuming this food, but as soon as the immune system begins its attack, there will be lots of unhappiness. Staying away from this food creates improved overall health and wellness and longevity and makes you feel happier in the long run. My challenge this week is to reduce the frequency and quantity of the inflammatory foods you consume. Replace them with anti-inflammatory foods. But what are these anti-inflammatory foods that you should add to your diet? Here's a list of them. Tomatoes, olive oil, green leafy vegetables, nuts, fatty fish, fruits, berries, broccoli, avocados, green tea, peppers, mushrooms, grapes, dark chocolate. And many gastroenterologists, including the one I see, recommends taking probiotics. This helps reduce inflammation and improves the mind-to-gut connection. So I challenge you to increase anti-inflammatory foods in your diet and decrease the inflammatory foods. This concludes this episode. Please tune in every Monday for a new self-care tip. If you enjoyed this episode, if you enjoy all these episodes, do me a favor and share them with your family and friends. Also, please check out my new self-care book titled Self-Health Andragogy, Self-Directed Learning Approach to Mental and Physical Self-Care. You can find it on Kindle, print copy, and audiobook. You can find links to my book in the show notes of this podcast.